Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of DXY US dollar currency index. And as we all know that the correction on US dollar currency index, DXY is still going on. We had a major support around 110.50, 110.11. .10 we saw some kind of bounce also here yesterday. But ultimately the selling pressure was so high, DXY broke the support and right now standing at 109.78. This is the current market price of DXY. If we look at the overall chart of DXY, then yes, market is still in uptrend. But keep in mind the correction is still going on. So, day traders especially, you must be very, very careful. And if the correction continues, then market will be heading towards the next support of 109.30. This level here. And in case market fails to bounce from 109.30 level, then there will be further downside, further selling pressure. And if market breaks it, then this will be the next support for DXY we can, because you can see that after this support the market does not have any immediate support so if market breaks this particular level here then obviously there will be good amount of recovery on gold, dot, gold, uh, euro, USD, GDP, USD and others so yes this uh, move on DXY will be very very important please keep your one eye on the chart of DXY this is the US government bonds 10 year chart. Okay, overall market is an uptrend, there is no doubt. Just like DXY, correction is still going on on the chart of government bonds as well. But one thing that we need to focus here is that this is a trending market, so obviously there is no proper support. No proper support on the chart as we can clearly see. But previous resistance, previous resistance is right now trying to act as support here. Or market is getting some kind of support around this level okay. so if DXY bounces or tries to recover from 109.30 government bond also try to recover from here then there may be some selling again on the chart of gold so as a result I am discussing these two charts before discussing about the chart of gold okay before I proceed I would like to show you the economy calendar today you can see we have got some high impact news on the US dollar so please be careful during the event and I was also going to an article then you can see gold price forecast gold buyers hesitate around 1675 why they are saying this because yesterday when we saw the up move people were thinking that gold is heading towards 1700 level but after hitting this particular level that is 1674-75 level we saw we saw that buyers failed to take the market up sellers started dominating again as a result things okay became complicated again so let's try to understand the chart of gold clearly see at first let's try to understand what is going on on the chart of gold okay if you look at the overall chart of gold here then there should not be any doubt that this market is in downtrend okay keep in mind that for a proper trend reversal we need a v pattern okay do we see any v pattern yet no we do not see any v pattern yet the market is still in downtrend yes there was some recovery or market is trying to recover that does not mean that we have a complete trend reversal yet trend reversal is a different chapter trend reversal is a different chapter we will get the confirmation of trend reversal only if market breaks the level of 1800 because do not forget market is coming down after making or uh, making the high of 20, uh, 2070 2070 so things are not very easy for gold as well and personally I think that in this market situation okay swing traders positional traders okay it's better to avoid your trading side it's better to uh, look for day trades only okay day trades or intraday trades only personally i'm exiting after 40 to 50 pips only because i'm avoiding swing and positional trades as of now and honestly i'm not a positional trader also okay 
positional trading is not my forte and but those who are looking for swing trades and positional trades i'll recommend you suggest you to avoid positional uh, positional trading or swing trades as of now okay so in this chart of go okay as we already know the 1722 to 1728 is the strongest resistance in the market right now okay but before this resistance level we have got multiple resistances so first of all first of all we must understand that 1675 right now is acting as a very strong resistance right now because this was the level from where market reversed yesterday okay so definitely this is a very strong resistance but keep in mind during the day especially during the european session or u.s session if market tries to recover listen to me carefully if market tries to recover then do not take any sell position around 1675 okay do not take any sell position around 1675 because you can see then market market okay market market looks bullish as of now if we just concentrate on the present trend of the market here market looks bullish buyers want to take the market up try to understand the market emotion here okay see we are retail traders we do not trade from here to here okay we usually trade from what we usually trade for one candle two candles three candles not more than that okay so so think practically so at present market looks bullish okay market is trying to recover and if there is a further downside on the chart of dxy further downside on the chart of uh, us bond then obviously we will see good amount of recovery on the chart of coal isn't it that's why i'm just saying that in case market goes up market tries to recover again during the european session us session try to avoid taking any sell position around 1675 because taking a sell position at 1675 can be very very risky personally i will just avoid but if you are an experienced trader if you have good amount of experience in the market then you can take the sell position because right now see i'm in the 15 minutes time frame 15 minute time frame memory here you can see that market is this is a very strong resistance so if you are 15 minutes time frame trader if you can afford to take risk if you have the experience in the market then you can take a sell position around 1675 if you see market reversing but if you're a beginner new trader try to avoid taking a sell position at 1675 so that is your personal decision i will not comment on that okay so in case market breaks 1675 level we have the next resistance around 1680 to 86 okay this is a strong resistance zone in the market you can see the main reason is that previously market has shown price rejection from above around this level and we also have fibonacci 61.8 retracement level so if you combine both the factors here 1680 to 86 has a huge potential of acting as a strong resistance for the market so if market goes up during the european session u.s session and if you see market is reversing you can definitely take a sell position but as we all know no level is permanent in the market so once market will hit the level once market will reach the level observe the market first if you see prices reversing then only take a sell position or if you see the market has uh, come to 16 80, 80 81 level and if the size of the candle is like this do you think you should take a sell position obviously no and this is the main difference between a gambler and a trader a trader does not trade like that okay a trader only trades when he feels right so right now 1675 is a very risky sell position you should mainly avoid but experienced traders you can take a sell position if you have the experience of entry quick entry and exit okay others you can look for 1680 to 86 if market reverses you can go for a sell if market breaks it avoid no need to take no need to take anything okay then we have 170 to 1705 and 1722 to 1728 okay these are the levels if market goes up and in case market goes down then we have then we have 1640 to 44 as a good support for the market right now in case during the day if market shows 
good amount of correction okay i think this is a reliable support for a market see there will be multiple support there will be multiple minor support in the market as well but if you are looking for reliable support this can be a reliable support from where you can expect the market to bounce for at least 50 to 70 pips and my dear friends today is the last day for the workshop because the workshop will start from tomorrow I don't know after uh, how many months I'll be conducting the workshop again. So if you're really interested about learning, if you really like the uh, analysis that I do in the market, then yes, you can sign up for the workshop because after the workshop, we will also receive uh, support for one month where you'll see market updates, reports, trade setups, and many things. Okay, so if you really want to take up trading as a serious source of income, then definitely you should check out the link in the description. I hope you will like it. Bye-bye, take care.